You got off to a good start. You're here today. Realize you're opening a new chapter in your life, beginning a new life, where everything will be bigger and better. Where you where you're going to need a keen mind and be true to yourself, take it easy, travel the globe, try your luck, don't be up in the air, go to great lengths, and last but not least, spread your wings and fly. You're lucky to be alive. UNCP, are you ready to graduate? It's so wonderful to see you guys here today. I know you're ready to graduate, and it's so moving to see your parents crying in the stands, not because you're graduating, but because they don't have to lend you money anymore. <laughs> but we are here in celebration of the last four years, and now comes the ominous real world. You know, the thing that we've been waiting for for these four years, but now it's here and we're like, hey, mom and dad, is that basement still open, you know? But finding a job and moving out on your own can't be that bad. I mean, yeah, the economy's kind of down right now, and the job market is a little meager, but allow me to perform a witty analogy which I attribute to Lance Jabbar and Jeffrey Herman. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look them up on YouTube. Suppose you are a guy, and it's about time for you to get married. Understanding that you want your wife to be special and always a source of happiness, you spend years researching the perfect girl. The kind that is 9 to 5, or the type off, something like that. Many people will attempt to meet their perfect girl online, sifting through bio after bio. Some girls are too busy, some live too close to home, and some have too much baggage so they're automatically discarded. But after months of searching, you think you finally found the perfect girl. Wow, she's amazing. She makes you laugh, she's gorgeous, she's intelligent, and she somehow gets along with your parents. So you decide to propose. Now knowing you've got one chance, you don't want to mess it up. But as the time draws closer for the date to, uh, that you'll propose, you begin to worry, am I good enough? Do I have all the right qualities? Did I get good enough grades? Do my internships mean something? Does a freshman 15, which so slowly escalated to the senior 37, ruin my chances? And then the day arrives. You're nervous. You're sweating so much that your shirt, which used to be white, is so drenched it looks see-through. You pull out the ring, hands trembling, knees buckling. And then it's over. And you've been in for your interview. You've submitted your resume. And she turns to you and says, huh, let me get back to you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> hmm. And that's it. That's the hiring experience. And the worst part is, she'll probably say no. But that's OK, because you didn't tell her that you proposed to like 50 backup chicks, you know, just in case. And they all want you to marry them instead. So move over corporate law firm, because McDonald's is hiring across the street, right? Seriously, though, no. I hope you know that life is what you make it. You determine where and how far you go from this point on. And it's going to be sad, because for the past four years you've been dying to leave, but many of you today are going to cry. You'll feel sentimental as you lock your doors, pass your old classroom buildings, and wave goodbye to your professors and friends. They say that college is the best years of your life. I say college will be the best years of your life if you plan on succeeding at absolutely nothing else because there is so much out there to seek, to accomplish, and to experience. And it is up to you to give yourself these opportunities. But one day, all of these college memories will come flooding back, maybe as you see your old college roommate for the first time, and you'll run to each other, like two freight trains, one having left San Francisco at 6.58 p.m. at 63 miles per hour, and another having left Topeka at 4.49 p.m. at 57 miles per hour. And you'll share the stories about everything you've accomplished since college every adventure you've embarked on since you've gone into the real world. And you realize how fast-paced and amazing life is. And never let go of that. So, ladies and gentlemen of the student body, remember this. It is okay immediately after college to have love affairs with workplaces. Sometimes it works out. And sometimes your other job catches you working as a freelance writer at a newspaper and then complains that they can't take the lack of commitment and that you don't give them enough time. But when you eventually marry, marry for love, because you and your job will together give birth to your own version of success. And that little success will grow into a big success. And then you'll have lots of successes. 
And sure, there will be arguments like whether or not you should stay up late writing that report or taking care of that other success because it soiled itself, but it will be a rewarding experience. I wish you all the best in life. It was an honor and a privilege, and now a dear memory, to have served as your student body president. Thank you.